GoGriffins.com, powered by Spine and Sport Physical Therapy. Train like the pros, my friends. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Another week, another national showdown in St. Joe, 12th ranked Missouri Western coming off its first loss of the season a week ago, trying to bounce back against number 14 Emporia State, but the Griffins dug themselves a huge early hole. Pick it up, scoreless second quarter, the explosive Hornets strike in first. Brent Wilson under pressure, scrambles and hits Kavosky Irvin all alone in the end zone. Emporia up 7-0. They tack on another TD a few minutes later, then Western would fumble the ensuing kickoff. Emporia turns that to six more. Dozy Iwagwu dives into the end zone. Emporia scores 21 straight points in six minutes. Griffs down 21 zip before they finally get things going. Still second quarter, Travis Partridge quick fire to Alec Burbett for the touchdown. They're on the board. Just before the half, John Schmiemeyer trying for a 47-yard field goal against the win. Who needs Greg Zerline? That's money. Griffs go to half with the momentum, down 21 to 10. They get the ball to start the third and waste no time going downfield. Partridge airs it out to Stephon Weaver. 49-yard hookup. Weaver 10 catches for 163 yards on the day. A couple plays later, Dalton Kreisa pulls his way into the end zone. It's now a 21-17 game. Griffs have all the momentum and continuing to use it. Fourth quarter, same score. Partridge on third and 27. Fires a strike over the middle to Weaver. A 30-yard touchdown. Griffs score 24 unanswered. Take their first lead of the game. It's 24-21. But Emporia with an immediate answer. A 15-play, 75-yard drive capped by Will Wilson to Irvin. Emporia reclaims the lead. Griff's trying to answer again. Partridge trying to make something happen. Instead, he's picked off. His third interception of the day. That leads to this. Wilson to Ray Ray Davis. Hornets take a 35-24 lead with 420 remaining in the game. But the Griff's battling back again. Partridge going to work with his feet this time. The senior quarterback rushed for 130 yards on 25 carries. This gets the Griff's in the red zone. A couple plays later, he completes the drive with a two-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion, no good. Griff's down 35-30 with just under three minutes to play. Emporia can try to run out the clock. Instead, they pass on second down. Wilson is hit. Ball is tipped into the hands of Mike Jordan. He's hit and fumbles. But Western recovers, and the Griffins have new life. Another look at this. Wilson was just lit up by Yami Ali on this pass play. The Griffins have the ball with a chance to win it. 16 seconds to play. They're on the six-yard line. Partridge looking for Reggie Jordan for the win, but instead he's picked off in the end zone. Miscommunication on the route and that's how this one is going to end. Emporia State comes to St. Joe and hands the Griffins their second straight loss. 35-30 to the final. Emporia improves to 8-0 on the season. Western falls to 7-2. They commit six turnovers in this game. A wild game with an even wilder finish and a heartbreaking loss for the black and gold. So we had six turnovers and there it is. Um, they, they threw a football to us. They shouldn't have. We intercepted it. I thought for sure we were going to win the football game. We were going to. The plan was to go two fades in a row to Reggie. Um, it was a fade. He jumped outside. Uh, I, think, I think Reg thought I was going to throw it inside. And, uh, it, was just, it was just miscommunication. Uh, I'll put that one on me. We, we dug ourselves a hole, but we had a lead. I mean, we had a lead and, and um, just didn't finish it. I felt like we were close. Like once we were to get the big play, I felt like the momentum would have totally switched in our favor. But it's just like we never could get that that one big play that we needed to get things going. You know, sometimes mistakes are made when you get young-minded kids and they get desperate feeling and they make some mistakes. They put you keep putting you in holes. I mean, uh, we got in the first hole, we got dug all the way out of it, and then we got another hole, we almost dug all the way out of that. I mean, it's a tough schedule these last five games, and uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of leadership. It's going to take a lot of this team just kind of swallowing this one and you know we got to move forward we got a tough team in Washburn coming up and then you know everyone knows the last game and so just got to swallow it and get going.